We're here today at the University of Bridgeport, and they hosted this wonderful event for the veterans uh, to commemorate the service. I'm very grateful for the people who have left our shores to go fight on other, on other lands to keep us safe. And today we, we've pinned uh, two brothers, and I have the oldest. He's originally from Stanford, and his name is Mr. Hunter. And Mr. Hunter, just tell us a little bit about how you felt about today. When we first came home, you know, they almost like spit on us. But since then, um, we've just been the outpouring of, of the gratitude that the, the country has given us veterans, and especially the Vietnam vets. We just, you know, I'm just glad to be here to, to witness everything that, you know, the country is doing for us now. There's still a lot more to be done, you know, um, but at least we're, we're being, you know, honored now. So I, I appreciate that. Well, I'm glad that you were able to come with your brother. And I know there was five of you in the, in the Vietnam. Right. Five. And, and that's a huge sacrifice. I'm a mother, and my son went to Saudi Arabia. And I watched it on TV, and it broke my heart every single day. So I can't imagine what your mom went through with five boys fighting in Vietnam. But from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. And I thank your mom for allowing you all to go and not pulling you all back home. But thank you for your service. I appreciate it. And thank you very much for honoring us. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hi there. My name is Leonard Hunter, and I served in the Vietnam War. And I really appreciate what they're doing for us right now today. Well, I'm Senator Gomes, and I'm, I served long before the Vietnam War, but I was in peacetime, and I have a deep appreciation for all these veterans who, who served in these different wars who are coming back here and, uh, and actually are not getting their due. And we're trying to make it so that these veterans come back here. We want to make people appreciate their service. There were seven out of eight of us that served in, out of my family in the service, but I have one brother that went to Vietnam. And I have to mention this about him because um, he, he passed away a few years ago. And when he came back from Vietnam, he never spoke about Vietnam at all. He would never say nothing about Vietnam. And then when he passed away, we went and got his, his papers and everything, DD-214, and we found out he had a Bronze Star. And I investigated it and found out that in order to you have a Bronze Star, it couldn't be a unit citation. You had to win it in, individually. And to this day, we don't know what he got that Brown Star for, but we appreciate it, his service. I appreciate the service of all the people that when were in the Vietnam War because of the simple fact that when they came back, they got no recognition. If they did get any recognition, it was negative. And now we're learning to appreciate everybody that serves. And that's something that Vietnam Vets does. You know, me and my brothers, the five of us, never spoke about what we did at the war, yeah. except for the good time. Yeah. Yes. Well, the, the Vietnam War was, was, a, was the war that a lot of veterans came back that did not speak about it. And I left a young man, grow up in the service like that. And right now today, I'm living the life that I can. Yeah. Yep. I appreciate you coming here and getting your just dude a medal for you and um, being recognized for your service. And I thank you for that. Hey.